Hi there, welcome to another premium tutorial. My name is Andre, and in this tutorial I want to show you how to create a digital painting effect on a portrait. This is a tutorial that a lot of people have been asking for, so I managed to come up with a technique that uh, gives some pretty nice results, as you can see here. This is the end result of the tutorial, and you'll see what I'm talking about when I show you the original image. I'll deactivate the other layers. Um, Sorry, that was not the original one, this one. So this is the original image, and this is the result uh, that I came up with. You can see the effect right here uh, on the skin, on the hair, on the beard here. Also, I added um, a reflection. I changed the reflection uh, on the glasses of the guy, but uh, well, I'll show you how to do that. But what I really want to focus on is show you how to get this um, this kind of result, I also changed a bit the lights and I made some dodging and burning, but uh, the main objective that I have for this tutorial is showing you how to get this uh, digital painting effect. I'll zoom in to 66% so you can see it a bit better. Again, the original image and the end result. Also, you can see the, the result here on the, on the hair. I think it's a pretty nice result. This technique works um, on any image actually, but uh, I recommend you use it on portraits uh, and high resolution images especially because the technique that, we'll, that we will apply uh, works best on this kind of images, but uh, you can apply on, uh, on normal images, on smaller images as well. I used two high resolution images and you'll, you can get them from the stock folder, um, so you can try this uh, for yourself. And well, uh, now that you've seen the result, let me show you how you can get this kind of effect. So let's get started. That's uh, the layer of the sharpened details. I'll zoom to 100% so you can see the before and after. Before and after, you can see that especially here on the lips. I'll open the filter again and I'll increase the sharpness to 3 because I want just a bit more sharpness. Okay, now it looks a lot better. You can see the before and after. You can see the details here on the lips and also here on the glasses, before and after. And maybe here on the hair, hair as well, before and after. So it just enhances a bit the highlights. So the next thing that I will do is apply some dodging and burning. And if you know my technique, I use the 50% uh, gray layer technique. And you can do that if you create a new layer on top of everything. I'll name this dodge burn. dodge burn. Lay, uh, this group so you can see the effect so before and uh, this is the after and this is the before the original one so you can see the effect that you get with this with this uh, with this tool and you can see the layers here I have separated the shadows and the highlights on separate layers but uh, you don't have to do that if you don't want to let's go you can do this on a, on a single layer if you want and as I said I'll start with the highlights so I'll select the dodge tool I'll set the exposure to about, let's say, 10%. I will not dodge uh, the skin, parts of the skin here, or the glasses. Just edges and highlights and things like that. Uh, I'll start with the nose, uh, dodging this part here, for example. This edge, um, also a bit here. So just some highlights, and you'll see why. And especially here on the lips, you can enhance the lips. Do is go to edit and choose copy merged. Okay. And with the top layer selected, I'll press control V to paste that image that I copied. So it's, it's a copy of the, of the glasses uh, lens here of the, see that? So it's just a copy of the, of the glass. I'll reactivate the layer of the girl and I'll name have the layer and I have the size everything is, uh, is looking nice but I want to have these reflections over the girl so what I will do is duplicate this right glass layer because drag this because I want to have a the transition was too smooth and I wanted something I want to I wanted to have a bigger area visible okay so uh, let me show the before and after I just added a bit of a bit of uh, shadow on the edges, maybe it's too much, so I'll decrease the opacity just a bit. Okay, so that's how I added the reflection there. So I reduced a bit the opacity of the 
of the girl there. You can also try blend modes, but uh, most likely uh, they will not work. Uh, so that's why I left the blend mode to normal and just uh, decreased the opacity a bit and placed the reflections on top. And let, let me do the same thing on the on the other one. I'll select this uh, all these layers and press Ctrl G to group that and I'll name this right eye. And now I'll repeat the process again in case you didn't. Uh, so something like that, maybe the hotspot a bit smaller. And I'll click OK. You can use multiple lights if you want to, but uh, I'll leave it like that and click OK. And I'll show you the before and after once the filter is applied. OK, so before and after. I just focused the light a bit uh, here. Well, I hope you liked uh, this technique. As I said, a lot of people have requested this tutorial and this is the technique that I came up with. I hope you like it. You can apply it on your own images and I would be happy to, to see the result that, uh, that you get. So until next time, this is Andre from PSD Box. Take care and thank you for watching.